Hello, I'm Zane Assad from Assad Z-Man Films, and today I wanted to show you Susan Hayward's chair that my mom actually purchased at an antique store. So I have to thank my mom for that. So who is Susan Hayward? So Susan Hayward began her career as a photographer's model. She wound up going to Hollywood in 1937, aiming to secure the role of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind. Although she did not win the role, Hayward found employment playing bit parts until she was cast in Beo Jest, 1939, opposite of Gary Cooper. During the war years, she acted with John Wayne twice as his second lead in Reap the Wild Wind, 1942 and his leading lady in the Fighting Sea Bees, 1944. After the war, Hayward's career took off when she was contracted by producer Walter Wagner for a seven-year contract at $100,000 a year, with her first film being Canyon Passage, 1946. In 1947, she received the first of five Academy Award nominations for her roles as an alcoholic nightclub singer in Smash Up the Story of a Woman, her second film for Wagner. She continued as one of Hollywood's most popular leading ladies in films such as Tap Roots, 1948, My Foolish Heart, 1949, David and Bathsheba, 1951, and With a Song in My Heart, 1952, and the real-life California murderer, Barbara Graham in I Want to Live. Hayward's portrayal of Graham won her the Academy Award for Best Actress in 1959. She continued to act into the early 70s when she was diagnosed with brain cancer. Her final film role was do as Dr. Maggie Cole in the 1972 made-for-TV drama Say Goodbye, Maggie Cole. The film was intended to be a pilot episode for a weekly television series, but because of Hayward's cancer diagnosis and failing health, the series was never produced. Her last public appearance was at the Academy Awards telecast in 1974 to present the Best a Actress Award. Despite being very ill with Charlton's Heston's support, she was able to present the award. 